I called it, didn't I? I mean, I, I called it. Come on, give me credit. I called it. <laughs> hey, everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite Valve fanboy, Gardner. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about uh, this news coming out of Ars Technica. Ars Technica are reporting that uh, Valve have been secretly working on a handheld PC uh, console called the Steam Pal. Uh, ooh boy, I'm excited about this one. Now, I have been talking about a first-party Steam console for many years. I think since the Steam Machines initiative died out, uh, I've been talking about it. And this is something that I think makes a ton of sense for them to do, right? I mean, Valve have done their own manufacturing with the Valve Index and the, and the Steam controllers. So the idea of Valve making their own handheld console, you know, manufacturing it themselves makes a ton of sense. And I just did a video actually a couple days ago about Valve's potential new first party steam machine. Uh, the reason I did that was because Gabe Newell was actually giving a lecture or a Q&A or something to some uh, students in New Zealand and Valve teased the idea of Valve games coming to console by saying, quote, you'll get a better idea of that by the year's end and it won't be the answer you'll expect. You'll say, aha, now I get what they're talking about. So cool, we have this little tease by Gabe and Ars Technica is now uh, reporting about the Steam Pack. That's awesome, but where are they getting this information from? Well, it seems that data miners do what data miners do best. And with the latest release of the of Steam, they were able to find uh, multiple references to Steam Pal. Now, since September of 2020, uh, there has been references to Neptune optimized games in uh, the Steam client. And many people thought that Neptune was actually a... Um, a new type of controller coming from Valve. Uh, and they're not quite far off from that, but it seems now that Steam Pal is actually Neptune. And the fact is that the string says Neptune optimized game. And that makes the like filled with confidence. There were several issues with the Steam machine, <laughs> not the least of which was that games made for PC were made for you to play at your desktop. They were not meant for you to be playing them at the 10 foot living room console experience, or at least most of them weren't. And Valve didn't do much to say, you know, these, this game is optimized for, you know, the Steam machine that didn't really exist at all. But the fact that it says Neptune optimized games might suggest that some games are going to be certified as like optimized and compatible for for uh, the, the Steam Pal. It's, it's weird to say. But the fact is there is a category called Neptune optimized games being referenced in the Steam client. And that means that there might be an actual certification process to getting games uh, displayed on the Steam store as working with the Neptune or the Steam Pal console. And that's incredibly important if you want to reach the actual console gaming market. Like it or not, even if it's a PC, uh, the people who are going to buy it are not going to be PC gamers. They're going to be console gamers. And console gamers expect a console gaming experience. Knowing Valve and, and kind of trusting them on this front, uh, you'll probably be able to install any game from your Steam library, whether or not it's been optimized for, uh, you know, the Neptune or the, uh, the steam pal as they're calling it. Um, but out of the box, I would imagine that you'd, that would be a setting you would have to enable to, to enable like other applications beyond the ones that have been certified as compatible with the device. And that's a good thing. In my opinion, valve needs to have a certification process where developers submit their games, uh, and they have to have, they have to conform to like a list of uh, things. So according to Ars Technica, at least one of the Steam Pal prototypes has an ultra wide form factor. It, it, it allows them to include the standard fare of face buttons and triggers and, you know, thumbsticks, but also uh, a, a trackpad for the, the, the size of your thumb. And of course, a touchscreen. Ars Technica also said that the trackpad on the uh, Steam Pal is smaller than the Steam Controller's thumb pads. Reportedly, the Steam Pal is also going to be able to dock via USB-C and, uh, you know, display video on an external monitor. I would have honestly been shocked if it couldn't do that, uh, but I think it makes a lot of sense here. And finally, and I think most importantly, the Steam Pal is going to be running Linux. 
This is important because this is gonna be a first party game console from Valve. That means that not just Sony, Nintendo, and Microsoft are competing, but now Valve is getting into the first party market, the first party console market. And that means that there's going to be a home console that runs Linux. So I would hope that a Neptune optimized device or a Steam Pal optimized device is going to have to meet a couple criteria. The first thing it's gonna to have to do is work well on the hardware. Now we don't have any details about what the hardware is actually gonna be, but I'm gonna speculate on that in a minute. Uh, but I think we need to have Neptune optimized devices work well on the hardware itself. Is going to either have to be certified that it runs perfectly in Proton, or it's gonna to have to be a native Linux client. I also think that they need to uh, detect that they're running on a Steam Pal and have uh, you know no requirements whatsoever to have a physical mouse and keyboard. Uh, the game needs to work with the game pad that's part of the system, um, or it should not be uh, classified as compatible. It also should be required to be compatible with an external controller so that you can dock it on your uh, TV and be playing from your couch. Uh, that's very important as well. But I wanna speculate about a couple things here because there's no pricing details, there's no hardware details uh, besides like the, the buttons and the touchscreen. I think that this thing is gonna have at least a Ryzen CPU with like top tier Vega graphics. Perhaps this unit would even have custom silicon from AMD built for this device, but that is wishful thinking. <laughs> so I wanna talk about the price for a second. Personally, I think the price is going to be under $500, I think Valve is going to take a loss on every Steam Pal sold, um, and it's going to try and directly compete with the Nintendo Switch. Valve has stated multiple times that Nintendo is where their like uh, inspiration comes from in a lot of ways, and uh, the Switch is the most popular console by far. Um, so I would not be surprised if we see uh, a $450 uh, Steam Pal rather than a, you know, the 299 switch or whatever it is. I also think that this thing's specifications are going to be good enough to run VR titles. And I also think that Valve will soon be releasing an inside out VR headset that connects to this device, which would allow for a completely untethered Steam VR experience, uh, you know, to compete with the Quest, uh, the Oculus Quest line. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. What do you think about this device? Uh, do you want a Steam Pal? Do you need a Steam Pal? I need a Steam Pal. Let me know down in the comments. I can't wait to hear from you guys about this. I wanna give a special shout out to Glenn Steen, one of my top tier Singularity members over on Patreon. Without Glenn and the rest of the folks over there, I wouldn't be able to do this. So thank you, Glenn. If you believe in the work that I do and you want to help support this show, there's no better way to help the show than by supporting the show over on Patreon or by becoming a YouTube member. It's because of you guys, my patrons and my channel members, that I'm able to invest as much time as I can into this channel. Uh, it's because of you that I do three videos a week now. So yeah, thank you. I wouldn't be able to do it without you. That's going to do it for this video. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the cool stuff we're doing here. And uh, yeah, it's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.